Hi guys, welcome to another session here. Yeah, my name is Amanda Amar Sekra. I am a full-time model and a part-time content creator for social media. Uh, what I do is I generally do many, many shows. I do many, many brands like Cool Planet, LICC, where I'm brand ambassador. And outside of that, I create content which is men's style tips and fashion for social media brands such as Instagram, Facebook, you name it, I'm there. It has probably been about one to two years since I've started training. I used to fly those days for Sri Lankan Airlines, so I didn't have a proper regime or schedule because I used to fly in the night, get up early in the morning, go for flights, so there wasn't consistency. But since I left Sri Lankan Airlines, I have a lot more freedom. And here at Lifetime Fitness, a gym that opens again at four o'clock in the morning and closes at one o'clock in the morning, I find it a lot more free to come whenever I want and do the workouts as consistently as I need to. Um, I do, I always consider a full body workout because uh, I, I also like to think that basically uh, focusing on a muscle group, so your arms one day, legs one day, that might be beneficial, but for me it's a lot easier if I just do full body every day, all day long. So what I do is one day full body workout, one day cardio, and another day rest. Hilariously, my workout buddy is my mom. And uh, my mom's not here today because she had to go for a trip, but otherwise, yeah, she's the one who actually pushes me to come to gym and the one that uh, always makes sure that I take her to gym with me and otherwise she gets upset. So my mom is my workout buddy. Oh, um, so I try to work out at least five to six days a week and I take one mental rest day. So it's generally, like I said earlier, one full body workout, one cardio session and I try to take my Sundays or my Saturdays off because your body does, as much as you can work out, need that rest day. Okay, this is also another hilarious thing. So what actually inspired me to start working out and to live a healthy lifestyle? Well, I used to lose weight was when I was really small, a girl kind of broke my heart because she said I was fat. <laughs> so that's, that's how I got into training. But slowly it became, um, uh, it became a lifestyle because I used to work out early day, every day in the morning and then go to work and it became a habit and I fell in love with it and um, that's what actually inspired me to work out. Yes, because I switched into becoming a vegetarian for the past four or five months now, uh, my diet revolves around a lot of lentils, so a lot of beans, so cow, pimong. I, I eat eggs and I have milk, so I'm a lacto ovo vegetarian. So I do generally dabble in that sort of field, but I don't stick to a consistent diet plan. I do have my junk food every once in a while because I also like to enjoy that side of life. Um, but I try to eat as cleanly as I can, and as healthy as I can, and that is generally my diet plan. I love this question because the workout culture back then is not what the workout culture is right now. Right now, a lot of our athletes are actually winning hilarious amounts of gold medals at the South Asian Games. So I think the workout culture is now becoming a lot more professional. It's becoming a lot more diverse. People are really getting into it and people really know what they're talking about. So uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to actually thank and congratulate the guys who actually made a difference and put our name up there for the game, so thank you so much. I think the workout culture is great now in Sri Lanka, now more than ever. Like I said earlier, so I stick to vegetarian, I stick to eggs and milk, uh, but outside of that, I, I, I generally have a very clean plan, maybe four or five days a week, but I do have my pizzas, I do have my burgers, I do have my outside food as well, so it's, it's here and there, but I stick mainly to a, maybe an 80% or 90% healthy lifestyle. I don't eat processed foods, I eat um, wholesome foods, and I generally stick to very, very clean foods. So. I think everybody does have lazy days when they're working out, but um, you, I, what I generally do is, I try to remember why I started working out, and I somehow drag myself. I, I have a mentor, actually um, one of my favorite people in the world who actually inspires me is David Goggins and he has this whole theory about how if you feel lazy that's one of the days that you need to push yourself harder. So I actually do have those days where I feel like, oh, I can't, I just can't go to gym today but I actually do motivate myself. But the thing is, after, after coming to gym as consistently as I have, 
Um, since it becomes a lifestyle, you don't really feel that lazy on set as much as I used to back in the days. So yeah, I, everybody has those days, but it's how you fight against that that makes a difference. The biggest mistake people that I think make at the gym are they take a weight that's too heavy for them and try to do too many reps without knowing what speed they should and don't consider trainers' opinions or anybody else's opinions. I also think that um, the internet is such a vast thing. There's YouTube, there's fitness tips all over the place. If you want to make a difference for yourself, um, there's so many people to consider and then you come back and reinvent that for yourself. So I think the biggest mistake we make here is not knowing and we're also too scared to ask somebody else for their opinion as to how exactly we should do it. I think those are the biggest mistakes we make right now. So my final message is this, if you want to get into this healthy lifestyle that everybody is into, just understand why exactly it is that you're doing it. I did it because, I mean, I started because a girl broke my heart, yeah, but now I fell in love with it because I feel a lot more energetic in the morning, I feel a lot cleaner, I feel a lot healthier, and I'm more motivated to do anything and everything. Um, the second I take off my shirt, I look great, and that makes me feel great. I also do it because of the dopamine kick that you get every day in the morning when you work out. It's, it's amazing to actually get out of bed, get to gym, feel good about yourself, and then do whatever it is that you want to do as opposed to always feeling very lethargic, very sleepy and also you should consider the health factors. Um, you get sick a lot more often, your body deteriorates a lot faster if you don't work out. Scientifically, if and all you need is about 30 minutes of some sort of rigorous exercise um, every day or one other day, like just at least three days and they should be fine. That's just it. So before I start my session, I always need to warm, you need to warm up your body, right? So what people generally do is they jog, they run, but I like to skip. See, the skipping actually not only works as a form of cardio and hits you as much as running does, it also works your arms. So let's get to it. So I got this speed rope, which actually helps uh, skipping a lot faster as opposed to a thicker rope. So let's see how it works out. God help me. So again, why I like to do skipping as opposed to running or something else is because not only does it work the legs and the body part, it also works your arms. You can control how much you can skip, control the speed of it, and you can have as much fun as it. You can do the squat, you can do one-legged, two-legged, you can do jumps in between. So it's a lot more interactive and a lot more fun. <sighs> it's a lot more better as well. Now, let's go on to the actual gym session. Let's go. Now this is a tricep rope pull down machine. It actually hits your entire tricep from the top here all the way to the bottom here. So what I generally do is about 10 into three sets. So let's start this one first. Make sure you take a good step back. And make sure when you pull it down, there is also this movement which actually focuses on the tricep. So this is my second set. Just make sure when you pull it down, the most important part is breaking it from here, otherwise you don't really engage your triceps. Okay. So now, why I like doing this exercise is it helps you adjust the weight, sure. The more the heavier it is, obviously the more you engage, but it generally builds up the entire tricep muscle here. And obviously when you wear a shirt and you are on the ramp, it actually looks amazing that you have that going on for you and not just this. So that's my second set. Let's move on to the third set.
three sets of that, and let's get on to the next exercise. Boom. So the next exercise I'm about to do is called the Zotman Curl. Now Zotman Curl is actually a very old technique that focuses on your biceps as well as your forearms. So let's do 10 sets. Sorry, uh, three sets of 10. Let's start. So you bring your arms up to halfway point, turn it around, focus on your forearms, bring it back down. This one. Remember guys, when you're doing a workout, it's about your technique. It's not about how heavy the, work, the weights are. If your weights are too heavy, always downsize to get your technique right to engage your muscles as much as you can. Working on heavy weight, yeah, that hits your muscles harder, but if you've got your technique wrong, you're hitting the wrong muscle group. So always start with the lighter weight if you're not too sure about the workout, and then gradually work your way up. So now I did my first set, let's get my second and my third done. As you can see, when I bring it up, my bicep is engaged, and when I bring it down, my forearms are engaged. So that's my second set. We have one more set to do, and then we can move on to the next one. Okay, let's do my last set of the Zotman curls. All right, up to a halfway point again. Turn, bring it back down slow. And the last one. Boom. Zotman done, on to the next workout. For your pecs, your pectoral is major, and the sense is a push and pull movement. The secondary muscle group you hit are your triceps. So let's do it. Oh, again, 10 into three. So you go one. Make sure on the push, you squeeze your pecs. To get the most out of the muscle. The chest press on an incline. Again, that hits the pectoris major. When you push it, you use your tricep, so you both work both muscles here and here. So that was my first set. Let's do the second and the third. So remember, it's always very important to make sure that your pecs, your pectoralis, is always in shape. This is one of the best ways to get the top part of it. And the last one. Push. Slowly bring it down. Ah. That's my second set done. Just one more of this, and then we can move on to the next one. Stay tuned. All right, so about three sets, oh sorry, three exercises in. Let's move on to the fourth one. Let's go. So now, we're gonna do a very famous exercise for running Goldman. And it's called a 21 set. So, ideally, just for your biceps. So it's super fun. What you do is, you bring up seven, seven, seven. Seven is to the middle, one. Your initial half seven is your target here. Your secondary, you have it here. And the full thing works your bicep here. It's a very colorful exercise. It's a lot of fun to do. And it's a seven, 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 so it's like a number. So now that was my first set, we have two more to go. And that makes three. Let's get on the next exercise. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the leg. Ideally, on your quads. So let's do some lunges, because lunges are always fun. Yeah. Back, straight down. Ten, and we switch sides. That was the second set. Let's do the final. Let's do the final set. Remember when you bring the weights up. This exercise works not only your hamstrings, also works your glutes. So that was the third set. We're done with the workout. So hey guys, I just finished my workout for today. 
and I am starving. So let's go get my post-workout meal. Let's go. Hi guys, so we're here after my workout to my favorite place, super food. This is where I come in to get my post meal workout. So let's go order my food and let's get this started out. Yes, I like to have a cold pressed juice. What the juice do you guys have? Exactly what goes into your meal. You know just how clean everything is so well organized here. So I know exactly what I get, I know exactly how clean it is, and I know just how much protein everything has. And that is the sort of meal you need to have right after your work. So let's go check it out, let's go see how this is done. Thanks, thanks a lot. So, so take a look at that. So there's mushrooms, there's cocos, there's tomatoes, there's their signature chickpea sauce. And the most important thing is, as a vegetarian, it's very easy for me to get my proteins when I eat like this. See, mung beans, or mung at it, has about 23 grams of protein. And you get that in a bowl like this. And the most important thing is, it's so delicious. And there's this also my juice. Cheers man, thanks so much. Brilliant. It looks, it looks so good. And one of the other things that I love about this place is, look, metal straws. The thing about the environment as well. So I'm gonna dig into this right now because it looks just as good as this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy. Cheers. If we eat things like this, which is readily available in Sri Lanka, it's very easy to get your proteins in. Um, also, the thing that made me become a vegetarian was I found out that the gladiators, you know, the manliest men that you can think of, they were all vegetarians. So if they can do it, you can do it and I can do it too. So when you eat food like this, without eating out all the time, this is the kind of out you need to eat, right? So again, your mung beans, mushrooms make things delicious, tomatoes, your couscous, you get your proteins, you get your carbs, you get your delicious fats, and you get this, this, this chickpea sauce that I keep talking about. It's so easy to become a vegetarian eating plain like this. It's so much easier than anything else. So I really, really suggest you try it. But have you seen this? Have you seen this beautiful maroon drink? Let's try it. So this is a beetroot juice, yeah? And you can hardly say it's beetroot. It's so sweet. And it's, it's all good for you. All of this is so nutritious. So I sincerely urge you to come and eat this. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, um, so generally after a workout, it's important to get your foods in at least one hour. That's the time period that you have that your muscles can absorb as much of that protein or nutrition as possible. So when you are um, after a workout, have your meals, have your protein shakes, have whatever you need to have within that one hour span. And then you can get in more of that nutrition, more of all of this to build, to help rebuild your muscles, to give in that nutrition that your body needs that you spend at the gym. So remember that and dig in. Oh, so thanks again, Superfood, for having me. It's delicious. Love it. And that is it for today's 
segment of My Fit Life. Thank you, Hi TV, for having me. And a very special thanks to Madhuranga from Lifetime Fitness and Amanda from Superfoods for helping me with this whole thing. Guys, fitness is not something that you should feel obligated to do, but it should be a part of your life. So thanks again. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Amanda Amarasekara. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, homies. Cheers.